Shalom, brothers united in Christ, back at your more of his word. The most high power. That's what we preach. We preach Christ, and that's what we're all about. That's what we agree on. That's what we agree on. We agree on who? Christ. That's the topic that we're going to go over today. We're going to talk about agreeing. Brothers agreeing with one another. Right? We're going we're gonna to come out of Amos chapter 3, verse 1. And the reason why I'm doing this topic is because you encounter a lot of people on the earth. You know what I mean? And, and I'm speaking primarily amongst the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, because that's my people. That's the only people that I can relate with. And we talk about the condition of our people, what we've been going through, what we are going through. We talk about our past, our present, and our future. But it seems like we don't agree as a people. You know what I mean? As far as what do we need to do to get ahead? We need to, we, we, we need to agree upon that. What we need to do to get ahead. And we're going to agree on the most high power, right? Read what you got on this side. Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. Stop, stop right there. You see here? This is the word that the most high has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family. Meaning. These curses, these blessings and these curses, you can't say it has not hit you. One of these curses has hit you, has hit every single individual. Because the scripture says again, read it. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against, this, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. Just stop right there. We see it right here, against you. This, is, this word is about you, against you. Meaning this word hasn't hit nobody else. This word is, is not about anyone else but you, O children of Israel. That's this people right here on this sign, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is about you. The most I have spoken against you. Why? Keep going. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Just stop right there. The most I said you only, meaning nobody else. You're exclusive. You only have the most high known amongst all the families of the earth. And that's why we're being punished because of our iniquity, because we sinned against him, because we had the law, statutes, and commandments, and we chose to do what? Defy the most high. Give me on this side, give me Deuteronomy chapter 4 and 5, and give me on this side, Psalms chapter 147 and 19. So the scripture says again, you only have I known amongst all the families of the earth. Therefore, the most high will punish up will punish us for our iniquities, for our sins, for our transgressions, because the Most High gave us laws, statutes, and commandments to follow, and we didn't follow them. We didn't abide by them. We chose to do our own thing. We wanted to be like the heathen. We wanted to be like the other nations whom the Most High didn't know. The Most High didn't know any other nation but us. Give me what you got on this side. This is what the other nations said about us. Read what you got. Deuteronomy 4 and 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments even as the Lord my power commanded me, that you should do so in the land, whither you go to possess it. Stop right there. This is Moses speaking right here. He's speaking to the children of Israel. He said, you only. Again, we got to remember that the Most High did what? He spoke to us through Moses. He gave us law, statutes, and judgments that we should do so in the land, whether we go to possess it. Because why? We had our own land. We had our own government. We had our own, our, we had our own army. We had our own law, statutes, commandments. We were our own people, and we agreed. We were together as a nation, right? Keep going. This is Deuteronomy four and six. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely. This great nation is a wise and understanding people. Let's start right there. So Moses said again, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding. The scripture says, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom. What's our wisdom today? Playing basketball, playing football. 
our voice, singing, our acting abilities. That's our wisdom today. But before, this is what the nations used to say about us. Read six again. It's so Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which I hear all these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right there. Now we don't have understanding. But this is what the nations used to say about us, that surely that this is a great and wise nation. They used to say this about us. Keep going. For what nation is there so great, who hath the Most High so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? Stop right there. Now go to 32 and 8. Read back that um, Lamentations again, real quick. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, Amos. That's my line upon line. Because again, the other nation used to say what? What nation is there that is so great, that hath the Most High so nigh unto them, as he is unto us? The Most High, again, the Most High said what? You only have I known amongst all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for your iniquity. Re read it. Amos 3 verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Just stop right there. Therefore I will punish you for all of your iniquities. The Most High said that because he knew us. And we knew him. The Most High spoke to us face to face. We knew the Most High. That now he's punishing us. Now we're scattered throughout all the four corners of the earth. Now we're in the ghettos. Now we're enduring trials and tribulations because of our iniquity, because our sin against him, because we sinned against him, right? Read. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. See that right there that Jacob is the lot of the Most High's inheritance. When the Most High divided the nations, he, he, he separated them. According to who? According to the bounds of the people, according to us, Israel. The Most High's chosen people. Now it doesn't look like we're chosen. Now it doesn't look like it, why? Because we were once what? We were once the head. Now we're the tail. But the only reason why we were the head was because we agreed together to do what? Serve the Most High power. We dwelt as one man, meaning we agree we had the same mind. Now we have to do what? Now we have to start doing what? Agreeing again so where we can do what? We'll agree and return to the Most High power. That's the only way we're going to get up out of the condition that we're in. That's the only way we're going to get up out of the condition that we're in, is if we do what? Agree to serve the Most High. Read what you got on this side, Psalms. Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statues and his judgments unto Israel. Read what you got. Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statues and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. So, again, the Most High said, as for his judgments, we have no, no other nation have known the Most High's judgments, save Israel, save the nation of Israel. And that's why we're being punished, because we knew the Most High's judgments, and we chose to do what? Commit iniquity, commit sin. That's, that's the reason why we're here in America. We, we can't blame the so-called white man. We can only blame ourselves. Because the so-called white man is only doing what he was designed to do. He was, he's only doing what he was set up to do, what he was commissioned to do. We were commissioned to do what? Keep the commandments of the Most High Power. And we didn't do that. Give me, um, give me what you got on this side. Give me Jeremiah 6 and 16. Read what you got. Ecclesiastes 17 and 17. For in the division of the nations, of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Stop right there. So the Most High divided the nations and he set a ruler of, over every people. But the Most High was our ruler. The Most High power, the creator of heaven and earth, he was our ruler. But we wanted to be like the other nations. So that's why you see back in 1 Samuel, we wanted a king. Because we wanted to be like the other nations. It seems like we're, that's been the trend. It seems like we always want to be like those that don't know the Most High. And now we're just like them. We don't know the Most High anymore. Keep going. Down to, 10, down to 20. Whom being his firstborn, Ecclesiasticus 17 and 18, whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline, and giving him the light of his love, 
doth not forsake him. All right, keep going. Therefore, all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their ways. So we see here, that's the reason why the Most High, he, Most High sees everything that we're doing. I Meaning no one is slick. You can't hide from the Most High. You can't act, you can't act like the Most High don't see you. Because the Most High said what? Read it again. Therefore, all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their ways. The Most High's eyes are continually upon our ways. He's continually upon our ways. That's why it seems like we're. It, it, it seems like whenever we commit a sin, it seems like we get punished faster than every other nation, quicker than every other nation. Because the Most High, His eyes are upon us, because we knew the Most High. Isn't that happen? Excuse me, doesn't that happen when you're a father or a mother and you catch your child doing something that they're not supposed to do? Don't you discipline them right then and there so that they can learn not to, not to transgress against what you said? That's exactly what the Most High did to us. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. Keep going. Therefore, all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their ways. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. So we see that all of our sins are before the Most High power. The most I said what? Read Amos 3 and 2 again. Amos 3 verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquity. Therefore I will punish you for all of your iniquities. But the most I did something, right? Read that Jeremiah 6 and 16. He spoke to the other nations about that, right? About our iniquity. Read what you got. Jeremiah 6 verse 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we will not walk therein. But we said that we will not walk therein. Again, the scripture says walk in the old paths. We see here back in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, there was no Pentecostal. There was no Lutheran. There was no Seventh-day Adventist. No Catholic, no Baptist. There were none of these things. These are all new ways whom our for, who, these are all new ways whom our forefathers knew nothing about. The scripture says, walk in the old ways, ask for the old paths. Because that's that's the good way. Now, religion is supposed to be what's saving us. When in actuality it's what's dividing us and it's destroying us. That's what's happening. There's, there, there, you have all these different churches happening, right? You you have all these different churches and it's, 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 it's flooded. It's flooded with the mass of our people. And we're praying. We're praying to the most high power, but yet we're still in the condition that we're in. Why? Because no one's agreeing. We're not agreeing on the truth. That's what's happening. We want to stay divided because we want to continue to do what we want to do. We want to continue to sin against the most high power and think that it's okay. The most high said that he doesn't, he's not hearing our prayers. Read that, um, read that Psalms 28 and 9. Um, Proverbs 28 and 9. Right? Read that again. Jeremiah 6 verse 17. 16. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. But they said that we will not walk therein. But yet they still continued to pray unto the Most High Power. Read what you got on this side. It says Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the Lord, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So we see that, that even our prayer is going to be an abomination. Because why? Because we turned our ear away from hearing the law. We didn't want to hear the most high power. But yet we still wanted to be, you know what I mean, in, um, in good company with them. We still wanted to be, you know what I mean, um, in a good condition or in a good way. We still wanted peace. We still wanted to be blessed. But yet, we turned our ear away from hearing the Most High Power. Again, this was once our wisdom and our understanding in the sight of all the other nations. The Most High have not known any other nation save but Israel. Right? Read what you got. Keep going. Jeremiah 6.17. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Right. But they said we would not hearken. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. The Most High set watchmen over you. But yet, you guys still don't want to hear. You guys are still hard-headed. You don't want to hear the most high power. Keep going. Therefore, hear ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. So right now, the most high speaking to the other nations, he said, hear ye nations, and know what, what is amongst you. Keep going. Hear, O earth, 
Behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. But rejected it. We rejected the law of the Most High Power. The scripture says, Here, O earth, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts. That's the reason why we're continually getting shot down in America. That's the reason why there's no help in Puerto Rico. That's the reason why we're continually being destroyed. That, that's the reason why. Because we chose to do what? Sin against the Most High. Because we, because we chose to reject Him. That's the reason why, if you wanted to know, if you didn't know why. Give me um, Isaiah 9 and 13. Read what you got on this side. Isaiah 42 and 23. This is Isaiah 42 and 23. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? So we see here right here, th these are questions. Who among you will give ear to this? Who's going to hearken and hear? If you're standing right here, you, right now, you need to listen to this because this is about our people. Listen to this, right? Keep going. Read it again. This is Isaiah 42 and 23. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Keep going. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Let's stop right there. That's a question. Who gave Jacob to the spoil and Israel to the robbers? Those are questions. Who did it? Who, who, who led the so-called blacks into, into slavery? Who allowed the so-called white men to take people from the west coast of Africa and bring them all the way over here to the Americas or to the Caribbeans? Who, who allowed it? Read it again. This is Isaiah 42 and 24. Who gave Jacob for a spoil? and Israel to the robbers. Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? That's, that's the answer right now. Did not the Lord do this against whom we have sinned? Because that's exactly what we did. We sinned against the Most High. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's why you don't know who you are. That, that's why you're calling yourself exactly that, black. That's why you're calling yourself African American, which are two different places. That's the reason why you're calling yourself Puerto Rico, which means rich pork which is not a nation of people. That's the reason why you speak Spanish instead of Hebrew. Because what? Because we did what? We chose to sin against the Most High. Keep going. Isaiah 42 and 24. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? He against whom we have sinned. Because we, we, we didn't sin against any other power. Because it seems to me like there is no sin within Christianity. Because you could do what you want and still be saved. We sinned against the Most High. Keep going. Did not the Lord, he, get, he against whom we have sinned, for they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Neither were they obedient unto his law. They were not obedient. We are still not obedient to the most high power. We have grace under Christ. But it seems like we're not obedient unto him either because we don't walk the way how he walked. We don't say the things that he said. We don't believe the things that he believed. He believed the most high. It seems to us like we don't believe the Most High because we're not doing what he say do. Read that, um, St. John 15 and 15, hold that. This is what Christ said do, right? And hold that, give me um, Matthew 5 and 17. Read what you got. St. John 15, verse 15. Henceforth, right there. take it from 12. St. John 15 and 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Right, keep going. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Christ said that ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. That's what Christ said. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. What did Christ command us? Give what you got. This is Matthew 5 and 17. Excuse me. Wow. So again, Christ said, ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Christ didn't tell us to do any other thing but do what? Read what you got. Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Right. But to fulfill. He didn't come to do anything else but to fulfill. To fulfill his lot. Just like we have to fulfill our lot. Right? Keep going. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle, shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Last time I checked, we're still on earth. Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. What, what has yet to be fulfilled? 
Israel agreeing and turning back to the most high power. That has yet to be fulfilled. Why? Because we're still scattered throughout all the four corners of the earth. We still don't agree. We still want to call ourselves African American. We still want to call ourselves Muslim or Catholic or Christian, Buddha. We still want to call ourselves Jamaican, Puerto Rican. We still want to call ourselves all these different things. We still want to be divided. That has yet to be fulfilled that we would turn back to the most high. Keep going. It says Matthew 5 and 19, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, stop right there. Go, go back to where you were at. So again, we, Christ didn't come to, to destroy the laws of the prophets. He came not to destroy but to fulfill. To fulfill his lot. He fulfilled that. He, he was obedient. He was obedient unto death. But the thing about it is we're not obedient. I mean, I'm speaking about the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Americans, because you only have the most high known amongst all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. Read what you got. Isaiah 42 and 24, who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? Right. For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Keep going. Therefore, he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle. And it has set him on fire round about, yet he knew not. And it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. Yet we laid it not to heart. We didn't lay it to heart. Again, we didn't lay it to heart that it's the Most High that's doing what? It's the Most High that's bringing all these trials upon us. He's setting us on fire. He, he, we didn't set it to heart that it was the Most High that brought those two hurricanes that destroyed the island of Puerto Rico. We didn't set it to heart that it's the Most High that allowed the so-called white men to continually shoot us and still be free doing it. We didn't bring it to heart. We didn't consider these things. That it's the Most High doing it. Read what you got on this side? St. John 15, verse 15. Oh, good. Um, give me um, back Isaiah 9 and 13. Isaiah 9, verse 13. For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. Stop right there. For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them. We don't turn to the Most High. We think that it's the so-called white man doing everything. We're blaming him for everything. Instead of looking in the mirror and looking at ourselves and seeing that it's us, we're the reason why we're in the condition that we're in. We got we to gotta look at ourselves. That's the reason why we're here in America. That's the reason why we were in captivity. That's the reason why we still are in captivity, whether you believe it or not, because we turn against the most high power. Good. Go back to the line upon line. Give me... um. Ecclesiastes 6 and 17. This is the verse that I want to focus on, right? Because again, this is about agreeing. We got to, we have, if, if there's anything that we have to agree upon, we have to agree on the most high power. We have to agree to serve him. That's the only way we're going to get up out of the condition that we're in. Read what you got? Amos 3 and 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Stop right there. That's a question. Can two walk together except they be agreed? That's a question. That, and that's a very important question because it, I just want to focus on one sec. You have the, you know, the religion of Christianity. You have all these different denominations that don't agree, but yet they all claim they are going to be saved. But they don't agree. Read it again. Can two walk together except they be agreed? That's the question. Can two walk together except they be agreed? You won't see a Muslim up here with us because we don't agree with him. You won't see a Buddhist up here because we won't agree with him. Because we agree on what? On Christ. We, we agree on the most high power. We agree on our past, present, and future. You won't see anybody else up here standing with us if they don't agree with us. That's not going to happen because then that's just confusion. That's just confusion. That's all it is. It's just shame. Because there's no understanding within it. Read it again. Can two walk together, save they can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? Give me on this side, give me um Ecclesiastes 13 and 15. Read what you got on this side. So we're talking about agreeing. So to get up out of the condition that we're in, talking about the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Americans, we have to do what? We have to start agreeing. We have to start agreeing. Right? We have to take that step. First thing first, let's agree on the Sabbath. Let's start agreeing on when's the Sabbath day. 
what to do on the Sabbath, how to conduct ourselves on the Sabbath. Let's agree on that. Let's agree on our nationality, who we are as a people. Because again, you're not black, you're not Native American, you're not Jamaican, you're not Gentiles. You are the chosen people of the Most High. Let's agree on that. Let's agree on that, right? Keep going. Read what you got on this side. Ecclesiasticus 6 to 17. Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. So we see there that whoso feareth the Most High shall direct his friendship aright. Meaning he's going to pay attention who he calls his friend. Why? Read it again. Whoso, whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. So shall his neighbor be also. I am a firm believer in, I even say this to my wife whenever she's playing around saying, oh, you're a friend. I, I straight up and say, that's not my friend. That's not my friend. That's just someone that I know. That's just someone that I work with. Why? Read it again. Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. For as I am, so is my neighbor. He's going to be like me. We're going to believe the same thing. We're going to agree. We're going to walk the same walk. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Read it again, because that, uh, that's a very important verse. Read it again. Ecclesiasticus 6 and 17. Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. Christ just said, ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. That's what Christ said. Right? Give me um, Ecclesiasticus 25 and 1 and Ecclesiasticus 37 and 12. Read what you got. Ecclesiasticus 13 and 15. Every beast loveth his light, and every man loveth his neighbor. Right. All flesh consorteth to... A cor a consorted according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like. And a man will cleave to his like. All flesh consorted to his kind. Meaning, you won't see a lion hanging out with a bear or a tiger hanging out with a giraffe. That's not going to happen. You, you're going to consort to your kind. Just like men, we, we consort to our kind. Whether or not you believe the most high, most so-called blacks or African Americans, they hang out with their own. Most so-called white men, they hang out with their own. They consort to their kind. They consort to their like. Right? Read it again. Ecclesiasticus 13, verse 13, 15. Every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. Right. All flesh consorteth according to kind, right. and a man will cleave to his like. Right. Keep going. What fellowship hath the wolf with the lamb? That's a question. What fellowship hath the wolf with the lamb? What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb? Will you ever see a wolf just chilling with a lamb in the forest? Never. That's not going to happen. Because one's going to devour the other. One is stronger than the other. Right? Keep going. So the sinner with the, un with the powerly. Right? So the sinner with the powerly. Now the problem with us, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Americans, we were once the powerly, but we, but we did what? We consorted with who? the sinners. We wanted to be just like the sinners, just like the other nations who didn't know the most high power. That's the problem that we have. And now we're like them. And now we're standing up here telling you the truth, telling you who you are as a, as a nation, telling you that you should be standing up here with us, that you should be agreeing with us. And you, and you look at us like we're strangers, like you don't know us, like we're different. When we are the same people. Keep going. Down to 18. What fellowship hath the wolf with the lamb, so the sinner with the powerly? What agreement is there between the hyena and the dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? We see that, 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 that there's no peace between the rich and the poor. It doesn't matter who you are. It, it, it doesn't matter how you dress it up. These are the things that go on in the earth. Again, you won't see a lamb with a wolf. There's no agreement upon it. But one thing about us that we have to start agreeing if we want to rise up out of the condition that we're in. If we want to do better, this is, I mean, you can talk to the Egyptologist or to the Pan-African, to the Nubian, to the Israelite, and you pose the question, if we were to get our own land as a people, how would we govern ourselves? How would we govern ourselves if we, the so-called blacks, took all the so-called blacks and left America and went and dwelt in a land where never mankind dwelt, and that be our land, how would we govern ourselves? Because one second group 
one 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 division of us are going to believe that in Egyptology, another group is going to believe in pan Africanism, or another group is going to believe in to be an Israelite. One group is going to believe in homosexuality. Another group is not going to believe in that. One group is going to believe in atheism. Or are we just going to agree to disagree? That can't happen. If we were, again, if we were to get our own land, we have to agree on something. And I posed this question to somebody that um, he was into Egypt, you know, and he was running down the dynasties of Egypt. He said the Bible plagiarized, you know what I mean, Egypt, but yet he never read the Bible. And I said that, how can you critique the Bible if you've never read it? And I asked him that question. If we were to get our own land, how would we govern ourselves? Or are we just going to take the law, statute, commandments that's here in, in America that are corrupt? Are we just going to do that? We need, we need something to agree upon. Read it again. The, um, Amos 3 and 3. Amos 3 verse 3. Can, can two walk together except they be agreed? You see that right there. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Now, I'm speaking about a whole nation. That's millions of us. How can we walk together except we be agreed? Again, we were once in agreement. We, we, we once had our own land. We once had our own government. We were once righteous. We were once of the same mind. And now we're asking to turn back to that, to start turning back to the Most High, to start being of the same mind. Give me what you got on this side. This is, this is Ecclesiasticus 25 and 1. In three things, I was beautified and stood up beautiful, both before the Most High and men. So these three things are considered beautiful before the Most High and man. Read what you got. The unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agree together. You see that right there? The unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, and a wife and a man that agree together. These three things are beautiful both before the Most High and man. These three things. Read it again. Ecclesiasticus 25 and 1. In three things, I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before the Most High and men. The unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agree together. So, I'm speaking about the nation, our nation, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, because we are one people, we are one nation. We have to do what? We have to unify ourselves. We have to be in unity. Right, Mike? You want to read that psalm for us? You, you want to sing that psalm? Behold how good and pleasure it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. How good and pleasure it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. No, 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 no. I'm good. We're good. We're good. Read it again. <laughs> um, read it again. Um, give me that. Um, 37? Yes. This is Ecclesiasticus 37 and, and 12. But be continually with the powerly men, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind. Right? So we have to be continually with a powerly man. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Most High. Whose mind is like who? It's like my mind. We're going to have the same mind. We're going to believe the same thing. We, we all have our own personal ple pleasures in the earth. You know what I mean? I may like liking a movie. He might like going bowling. That's not what's going to separate us. Or that's not, you know what I mean? That, that's not what's important. What's important is us agreeing on the word. That's what's important. That's what we need to agree on. Read it again. This is Ecclesiasticus 37 and 12. But be continually with the powerly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, right. whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. So we see that we have to do what? We have to be continually with the powerly man. That person that has the same mind as you, that believe the same thing. That's, what, that's whom we have to be with. Right? Someone that believes the same thing that you believe. That's what we have to believe, right? That, 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 that's who we should spend our time with. Right? Give me what you got on this side. What are you holding? Give me um, Malachi 2 and 10. Give me Exodus 23 and 2. Read what you got. Malachi 2 verse 10. How have we not all one father? Have not one power created us? Just stop right there. That's a question. Have we not all one father? Hath not one power created us? Keep going. Why do we build treacherously 
every man against his brother by profaning the covenant of our fathers. If, if, if so, if we have one father and if one power hath created us, why do we deal treacherously by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Why, why, why do we deal so treacherously against one another? Why? Because we chose to commit sin against the Most High. Because we don't believe in Him anymore. Because we don't agree. Because of vainglory. That's the reason why we have, to, we have to agree on something. If there's one thing we need to agree on, we need to agree on the Most High Power and His covenant. That's the only thing that's going to save us. That's the only thing that's going to get us up out of the condition that we're in. Read it again. Malachi 2 and 10. Have we not all one father? Hath not one power created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Why? Because now we're profaning the covenant of our fathers. We're no longer Israelites. We're, we're, we're no longer Judites or Benjamites or Ephraimites. Now we're separated. Now we don't keep these law, statutes, commandments. We chose to do what? Commit iniquity. And that's the reason why we're here. Right? Give me... um. Psalm 83 and 3. Read what you got on this side. This is Exodus 23 and 2. Because again, the scripture says, can two walk together except they be agreed? Now, let's flip it on the other side. We have to agree on righteousness. Just like we're agreeing on righteousness, the wicked are going to agree on what? On sin, on wickedness. Read what you got. This is Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to, de to decline after many to rest judgment. So this is one of our law statute commandments. The scripture says that thou shalt not fall, that thou shalt not follow a multitude to do wickedly. That's exactly what we're doing today. But the wicked are agreeing. They're agreeing to do wickedly. They're agreeing to transgress against the most high power. So if the wicked are agreeing, shouldn't the righteous agree as well? We should agree on keeping these law statute commandments. Read it again. This is Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in the cause to decline after many, to rest judgment. So again, we have to do what? We have to follow after judgment, or else we're following after that multitude to do wickedly. Give me um, Isaiah 8 and 11. Read what you got. Psalms 83 verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Good. Stop right there. Who? The wicked. The other nations have taken crafty counsel against thy people. But if there's one thing that they did, they agreed. They agreed to do this. They agreed. They were of one mind. They walked together on this one thing to, to take crafty counsel against the Most High's people. Read it again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So when the so-called white man went over to Africa, to the west coast of Africa, and he, he, he saw the, the, the true African, he said, yo, I'm going to take this person from among you, and we're going to bring him over here. The African agreed with them. He said, okay. They agreed. They were of the same mind. That's exactly what they were. Re read the next verse. And they said, we're, we're not going to call them Israelites anymore. We're going to call them African-American. We're going to call them Jamaican. We're going to call them Puerto Rican. We're going to separate them because they were of the same mind. Read what you got. Verse f 4. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent. For they have consulted together with one consent. They consulted together. They were of the same mind. They are confederate against thee. Right. They are confederate against the most high power. If there's one thing they agree upon, they agree on to be confederate against the most high. They are of the same mind against the most high. Just like we have to be of the same mind for the most high. Give me um First Maccabees 1 and 41. Read what you got. Isaiah 8 and 11. For the Lord spake thus to me with the strong hand and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people. Just like the Most High speaking to us, and we're speaking to you. Don't walk in the ways of this people. Don't walk after the so-called white man or after the so-called Chinese. Don't walk after these people. Read it again. Isaiah 8 and 11, For the Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying, Say ye not a confederacy to all them to whom this people shall say, 
a confederacy. Just like they were confederate against the Most High. So we can't be in confederacy with them. We can't say a, conf a confederacy with them. We can't, you know what I mean, let's take, for example, pledge our allegiance to the flag. Because that's in confederacy against the Most High. Read it again. Isaiah 8 and 12. Say ye not a confederacy to all them to whom this people shall say a confederacy. Neither fear ye their fears, nor be afraid. Neither fear ye their fears. They fear the world. They fear man. We have to fear the Most High. That's our fear. We have to agree to fear the Most High. We have to walk together in the fear of the Most High. And that's what we agree upon. Keep going. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself, and let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. So we have to let the Most High be our fear, and let him be our dread. We have to agree on him. We have to agree on the fear of the Most High. We have to agree on how to fear the Most High. And that's through keeping his law, statute, and commandments. That, if there's anything that we agree upon, we are going to agree upon that. Right? Give me what you got on this side. First Maccabees 141. Moreover, King Antioch, Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. Right, so let's fast forward this to today. This is Donald Trump today, that we should all be one people. Right, keep going. And everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. So all of the heathen consented to the commandment of the king. They all walked together. They agreed that, all right, we're going to leave our law, statute, of commandments. We're going to leave our power, our, 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 false, our false God, and we're going to follow after this king. And many of the Israelites also consented to his religion. So we said, you know what? I want to follow after heathen. So we left the most high power. We left the true power, and we followed after him. Read it again from 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote unto his whole ki kingdom that all should be one people. And everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed, according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion, and sacrificed unto idols, and profaned the Sabbath. So many did what? They sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Most High Sabbath. They profaned these things, just like we're profaning the Sabbath today. Again, we should start agreeing on the Sabbath. When is the Sabbath day? So that we can start Walking in the Sabbath day, celebrating the Sabbath together as a nation, as a people. I have a cousin that was into um, Africanism. And one of the things he said was it's hard for him to believe that there's going to be somebody coming out of the sky and, you know what I mean, setting fire and doing all these type of things. And I said, well, in order for us to agree, let's take, for example, the Sabbath. If the so-called blacks, Latino Americans started celebrating the Sabbath, keeping the Sabbath, Look at the impact that we would do to this place, to America itself. We would stop buying. We would stop buying. We would stop selling. We would stop going to these sporting events or to these, you know what I mean, to whatever it is that's contrary to the most high power. We would stop doing those things. Look at the impact that we would have. Then the most high would do what? He would turn into us because he see that we're agreeing to walk in the most high. Read it again. Um... Drop down to the 40, no, to the 50th verse. First Maccabees 1 and 50. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. So this was a decree. This was a decree by one of the kings um, during the Greek captivity that, who, that whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king would die. So we were afraid. We followed after that. Now we do it willingly. We agree to transgress against the Most High instead of agreeing to keep his commandments. Can two walk together except they be agreed? We got to, come on now, we have, we have to get it together. Start paying attention to what we're doing, to the foods that we're eating, to the people that we, to the people that we call our friends, to the people that we call our neighbors, to the, to, to, to the holidays that we celebrate. Halloween. How many Christians are going to be celebrating that? A lot of them. How many Christians are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving when, when they slaughtered millions of Native Americans? Our brothers, right? Our, our family, our, our nation, the people that we were together with. How many people are going to be doing these things that is against the most high? Come on now. What are you holding on the side? 
Uh, I just said the Isaiah. Give me um, Second Corinthians six and fourteen. Read that th um, three and three again. Amos three verse three. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Again, that's the question. Can two walk together except they be agreed? We have to agree on something. We have to agree, and we, we cannot be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Read what you got on this side. 2 Corinthians 6 and 15. And what concord hath, excuse me, 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Right. And what communion hath light with darkness? Right. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Yeah, and th these are all questions that answer themselves. There is no agreeing. There is no, there is no covet it there's no there's no com there's no communion there's none of these things there's no fellowship these are all questions that answer themselves read it again from 14 this is second corinthians 6 and 14 be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness and what concord hath christ with belial or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel again what Martin Luther King said when he said, you know what I mean, the, the Jew and the, and the Catholic or the Protestant and the Christian, that was wrong. Because the scripture says what? Read it again. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. The scripture says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Again, we have to agree on something, and we're going to agree on this word. Keep going. This is 2 Corinthians 6 to 16. And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? Keep going. For ye are the temple of the living power. Right. As the Most High has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Keep going. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate. Right. Christ, the Most High said, be ye separate. Be ye separate. Why? Because you can't be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? But we see it right now, right across the street, you have a whole bunch of idols in these so-called temples of the Most High power. That's because they agree on something. They agree on wickedness against the Most High. When we agree on what? The righteousness of the Most High power. Keep going. This is 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. Wherefore, come out from among them. And be ye separate, saith the Lord, right. and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Keep going. And will and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. So again, the most I said, He will be a father unto us, and we will be his sons and daughters. But we have to separate ourselves. We have to separate ourselves. And we just have to start agreeing on what's right. What are you holding on the side? Go ahead. You, you give me this. this um Esther. 13 and 33. Thir now, when I asked my counselors how this might be, brought to pass Amon that excelled in wisdom among us and was approved for his constant goodwill and steadfast fidelity and had the honor of the second place in the kingdom, right. declared unto us that in all nations throughout the world there was a scattered, there was scattered a certain malicious people that had laws contrary to all nations and continually despise the commandments of kings. So as the uniting of our kingdom honorably intended by us cannot go forward. Right. See and then we understand that this people alone is continually in opposition unto all men, differing in the strange manner of their laws, right. and evil affected to our state, working all the mischief they can, that our kingdom may not be firmly established. So we see here that this is during the Persian Mede captivity that we were what? We were different. We were different from all manner of laws, from all commandments of kings. We had different laws, statutes, commandments. We had a different being. We had, we, we had a different way of life. We, we, we believed a different thing. We worshiped a different way. We were different. But within being different, we agreed within ourselves to be the same, to worship the Most High. That's what we did amongst ourselves as a people. But now we're the same as everybody else. Everybody thinks they're different, but in actuality they're the same. If you're in sin, if you're in wickedness, you're all the same. We have to agree on the most high power. Root you got? Amos 3 verse 4. Um, give me Nehemiah 1. No, give me Nehemiah 8 and 1. Give me 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Root you got? 
Um, Nehemiah 8 and 1. And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. And they spake unto Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had commanded to Israel. We'll stop right there. So we see here that all the people gathered, gathered themselves together as one man. To do what? To hear the law of the Most High Power. They said, bring the book of the law so we can hear it. Now, hold that. Go to Isaiah chapter 30 and 8. So all the people gathered themselves together in the gate as one man. Meaning they all had the same mind. They walked together. They were agreed. Right? Keep going. Isaiah 30 and 8. Now go. Write it before them in a table and note it in a book. That this may that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Right. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord. Right. Keep going. So we agreed to not hear the law of the Lord. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. We agreed to do what? Read it again. Keep going. Keep going. Ten. Which say to the seers, see not, right. and to the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things. Right. Prophesy deceit. So this is what we did amongst the this is what we did as a people. We don't want to hear the law of the most high power. We don't want to hear the law. We agreed to do what? To be in confederacy against him. We agreed to hear what? Keep going. Get ye out of the read um, the verse you just read. This is Isaiah 30, verse 10, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. So they wanted to hear deceit. They wanted to hear all you need to do is love Christ and you'll be saved. They didn't want to hear the details, meaning you have to celebrate the Sabbath. You have to stop celebrating these idolatrous holidays. You have to stop eating these abominable foods. You, they didn't want to hear that there's a dress code to this thing. They didn't want to hear these things. They just wanted to, they just wanted to hear deceit. They were in agreement to hear deceit. They were in agreement against the Most High Power. We as a people, when we were once like this, read Nehemiah 8 and 1. Nehemiah 8 and 1. And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. And they spake unto Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had commanded to Israel. So again, we were in agreement to hear the law of the Most High Power. Keep going. And Ezra the priest brought the law before the congregation, both of men and women and all that could hear right. with understanding. So it was both men and women and all that can hear with understanding. It wasn't just the men. It wasn't just the women. It was men and women and everyone that can hear with understanding. We all did what? We all gathered ourselves together as one man, meaning we had the same mind. Read what you got on this side. 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant. How that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. First Corinthians 1 and 10. 1 and 10. Excuse me. First Corinthians 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Christ, that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. We're going to read this again, but this said, I beseech you, brethren, in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Christ, every it seems like every, every denomination within Christianity, they claim Christ, correct? They claim that Christ is their Lord, but yet they go dead against this scripture. Read it again. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. So we see here that there is no divisions amongst us. We believe the same thing. We're in the same mind and in the same judgment. We all keep the Sabbath over here because we walk together in the most high power. We agree in the most high power. Give me um, Isaiah 52 and 7. Root you got on this side? I'll give you one more, man. One more. Second Corinthians 11 and 4. If he, for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if ye have received another spirit which you have not received, or another gospel which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. Right. So you're going to be with him. You're going to agree with him. 
Not with us. If you're following after a, a, another Christ or another gospel, or if you're covered under another spirit, you're going to follow after him that taught you that. Instead of following after the most high power. Read what you got? Um, Nehemiah 8, verse 2. Good. You know, hold that. Go back to that. Um, line upon line. Read 3 again. You, want die, you done with Isaiah 30? Uh, yes, I'm done with that. Amos 3, verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Again, that's the question that I want you to answer that. I want you to, I want you to consider that and think about it. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Think about it. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Read what you got on this side. Says Isaiah 52 and 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet. 52 no. And 7? Yes, 52 and 7. Give me Malachi 3 and 16. Isaiah 52 and 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, thy power reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye. So again, there's going to come a, there, there will come a point in time that we will see eye to eye. But we have to, and again, that's going to be in the kingdom, but we have to do what? We have to start practicing that right now. We, and this is how we practice it. Read what you got. Malachi 3.16. Then they that fear the Lord all, spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that fear the Lord and that thought upon his name. So again, this book was written for them that feared the Most High and that thought upon his name. This is where we're going to agree. Keep going. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. That serveth him. So again, can two walk together except they be agreed? We agree over here. So you need to get with us and agree with us. And with that, brothers unite in Christ. Shalom.